to get into the upper bracket. Yes, now that they don't have to play versus me anymore, they're going very far. Yes, that is <laughs> indeed. <laughs> He's lane. Yeah. You know the actual story there is that. Uh, you know the last land are using trick one against talent. Apparently BZM just went off on Beast Coast, and we're actually gonna have a second kill here. Taiga running low. Oh, we got a first. The blood grenade instant. Own power against them, I guess so. You know, they're about early sun strikes in game two. He is going X Or. So you have a little extra threat on these side lanes if you trade, end up attacking scenarios. And in fact, MC may also die if he's not careful. Remember that. So they, they are familiar with the play styles. Curdle instantly TP down, create the tri lane, try and punish Taiga again. Third death for the techies. Will he get the leap off? No, he will not. The Sunshine lands though, but they are being swell stunned. Going out onto MC, and I think RTZ is more than healthy enough to be able to ensure he gets this kill. And if he gets the last hit, well, he would get able to get it. RTZ. Oh, if only the Sunshine would land, they would get that kill instead. RTZ's gonna get the kill on the Taiga. And this is just that little threshold increase to punish these heroes on the map. And then once you start getting the kills, it's all momentum. But if you're behind, you just never get there. Shopify, scary lane phase as BCM goes down to the rotation. I mean, this this was the one lane that was going acceptably. Another attempt at a kill. Arteezy this time is really going to die. So, in lane snowball. Main off here as they continue to round OG in the lane phase at least. Yeah, and coming off that Wisdom Rune, successfully doing a lot of damage to MC. Jump on in here. Hitting fly. A lot of damage. Yeah, it's gonna be enough for the kill, but Taiga is probably gonna be collected on the same side of that as oh, really? not quite couldn't die for it. Image. Yeah, it's gonna be enough for the kill, but Taiga is probably gonna be collected on the same side of that as really not quite couldn't die for it. Kid track was there on the other side. BCM gonna die second time here. Yuragi even trying to help him out. Can't stop that kill. Maybe can get a counter on a crit, but I don't think so. So, if he does, it's going to be heavy commitment. He finally gets the kill, yes, but now it looks like he's going to be hit by the Blood Rite, being run down, and with these slights, it's looking pretty dangerous. Even MC threatened to blow with all. Holy crap, this guy's moving. Yeah, he takes Swelt. Very fast on the kill. So, RTZ very happy now with some of these rotations. This is a brawl of a goddamn game right yeah, now. Yeah, Flux going to die to the Ides. Taiga didn't need to do anything. In fact, Taiga didn't do anything because he missed both of his abilities. Uh, All of them. And another rotation to mid. BZM. Can't, can't catch a break. He's got three. I don't know who. Maybe you yell in the mirror, but someone's hearing my complaints. That's gonna help, but not enough. Abed still gets the kill, and with the slight dodges a bit of damage as the remnant continuing to hunt constantly around the map. And now they're gonna find MC. Has the black hole is gonna put it to use immediately. And the crystal made it. Wydalon's going to work there. Now MC himself is still in some trouble here. Let's see if Saberlight can get the kill. Another net. Okay, be Malthus. He's only gonna be able to get maybe one hit in. I think he's fine. Okay, that's enough going Midas here. We've seen what he can do in the late game with Exor Invoker. I'll, I would never count it out personally. But it's a question of are you going to be able to get there. Right now you're going to have a fast Crimson Guard on Doom and he's still just getting permanently ganked. Ragi will successfully TP out after a rupture. But having your mid dot. It's gonna be a rough Saberlight's time. Saberlight's coming in from behind. Oh, gets hit by the cold snap once, twice. Can't quite get off the spells here. He's gonna close the distance and gets it off finally on BZM. BZM will die for this. Shopify are even gonna be able to get the plus one here on the tankies, and no one is really being threatened at all. Not only do they lose BZM, never let him get to like you. There seems to be a clear dichotomy here, uh, and sometimes it's even just within a team based off of their draft. Sometimes we have these games where one lineup is just running around. They have no chill. <laughs> where we're talking, oh wait, are we talking about the same team here? Shopify is the fast team for once. This seems to be the case. The big bad Crimson's here to fight. Gonna be found on the side here. He'll die. BCM needs some help. MC does have There's the black, black hole. hole. Yeah, he's wanting to cast from the high ground. Yeah, he's thinking about it, but they don't have the vision to be able to reveal BCM, so they're not gonna get him either way. Now, Saberlight may be tanky. Freezing field. Yuragi may have committed a little bit too much, but that the was not the doom you wanted to be casting there. Yuragi's the real one still being found, though. And Doppelganger. 
Vayne escaping in the trees. They're gonna get him eventually. There's just too much AoE damage. This lineup has plenty of options when it comes to that. The freezing black hole. And I'm trying to get out of the enemy side of the map right now because nowhere is safe for this man. But that's what ended up making this lineup really greedy because now, okay, can Phantom Lancer fulfill the role of the space maker? Uh, apparently not. Watching that last fight where he ran into a freezing field. Yeah, that's the issue. The early fights with some defusal rush weren't really Radiant are scattered. It is on the way. Not a moment too soon. Right as he was about to get ganked by three different heroes. I mean, Shopify, they get a kill on one side of the map and then they're instantly TPing to the other side of the map. Dyer's we haven't even seen the full five on five yet with attack. some good soul bind. Double rupture, double doom that can come out as well. Yeah, that's true. Arteezy, a little bit of trouble here. Now he was pretty fast. Sableite. Gets in there with the Doom and the Hurricane back onto the Invoker. And just to make sure there's no help, put the Soulbind on him too. Slow him down. Nobody else was around though from OG. I mean, his Soulbind's a lot lower cooldown now. Being one of them, but Ember Spirit especially, you know, taking advantage of these uh, lower stun durations across the board for so many heroes. East Rush for the Techies. Pretty interesting build. Interesting, but doesn't save him there. May not help out MC as they have already killed the techies and come to kill Dynamic. Arteezy runs into BZM here. Rupture. Blood right, not gonna land. And he's healthy enough that he's not seen. Ahmed runs into a lot of mines here, taking a lot of damage. Frostbite on the other side, though. Probably ensures Tyga's fate. He's gonna get off this stun, but in a remnant away. You gotta keep remnanting away. TP away, actually. Right in front of Yuragi's face, and he's got a remnant to jump back to in case he runes. Your bounty runes. Your bullet. They're straight up blink black hole. Jumps in time, Saberlight, he'll pay the price instead. Died for his humor. Is he the man? <laughs> Have we ever asked these important questions? Never <laughs> See ya. I'll show you, Dad. Well, RTZ is showing the EZM. Showing him the door, potentially. The Hurricane back with the rupture is a very nice combo. No, MC is on the side here, but he does not have Black Hole, so he can't stop this bit of aggression and can't even TP out successfully. Triple kill for Artur, who, eh, you know what, you get doomed. Oh, he got Silence on the way in. Uh-oh. Oh, no, the Tornado miss. Hit him with the Ice Wall instead. Okay. I mean, they know that he has no BKB. That's why they're trying to so hard to make this work. But oh, oh no. They didn't get the initiation. Taiga maybe 5% magic resistance in D.Va community. So it is a terrifying oh, illusion is. when you get it. And there it goes. It's actually illusion on illusion battle because the real one. Doom. And hit him with that hurricane. Rupture will ensure his fate. And BZM. Uh-oh. Trying to come in to help out his buddy. We weren't saving that. Dyer's I mean, is on booth area, but surely you, as long as you stay behind the PCs, it's all good. Bye bye, bye wishes you could leave this game. All right, right MC's gonna try it. Oh, BC, I'm trying to deny himself with the board spirits. Didn't work though. Yeah. Tiger will get found again. It's done. Again. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, just and give him a. We all want to see it. That's the combo, right? You drop the mind heal. Uh -huh. You black hole him in the mind arena, so he's not short of CR anyway. Yeah, that's true. Not short of much higher game. And with that ogre seal totem, literally trampling over Taiga right now. Looking for more. <laughs> Pretty close, too. I cannot believe what happened? I, mean, I guess I can oh, get it. Pop. Lincolns, they got the dust on him. And being swell to ensure the stun. Yeah, I got it. Once again, the Ogre Seal took. Is he stuck? I feel like he's oh. fine here. <laughs> Are you saying BZM's fine? Like, <laughs> he passed the mine into the wishing well. Okay, and he's got him right where he wants him. He's just pulling him to the mines. Pulling him to the mines, all right? After they kill the techies. Uh -oh. Spotted. Oh, Dog blinks forward blinks. with the AoE. Yes. Do he blink forward at the same time? Trying to go yeah, for it. Oh, no. in. He just walks into the black hole. The AoE doom. That is the power. <laughs> oh, shackle on a two. That's pretty nice setup. Geez, Ahmed is just going for it with this Aghanim Scepter. Demolishing the back line with the rupture on out. This might just be able to force the GG out. They don't have a black 
hole on the Enigma. So even if they buy back on these heroes, I'm not sure what they're going to do. They're going to try. Taiga complete with their Shopify backs against the wall here, but they push back in. The minefield side going off on the Doom, who's going to TP out from it for there fear. So many rocks is getting blasted. The power is fly is jumping for him with the most beautiful freezing fails. Ultra kill for the Maiden to finish it off. Man, they just Ooh. put their net worth in jammed it straight to the fountain. <laughs> they said, Death Vortex be damned. <laughs> They wanted enough of the net worth lead that they could 5 versus 20 if necessary. I mean, that was literally a 5. Yeah. With GH, but now he's playing with Taiga. Can you have the same level of synergy? Can you accelerate the game at the same pace? First Blood would do a lot here. That is going to be First Blood going down. Oh, they're gonna get a kill. Yeah, I mean, kid track. <laughs> uh oh. That's some stick charges, but that's plus two. Do and then back through the gate. God. Okay. Stupid hit in the dog. <laughs> why, why do you have to say it like that, man? <laughs> oh, like what a hit. Damn. Send him back to base. He was forced into existence, and now he is rampaging through towns, taking his revenge. And he does not know it was Void Spirit who planted. Dire the scroll for the LBZM, but instead Abed is the one who almost dies. Fairy yep, fires on the in sides, interesting enough. I'm gonna pop his full wand, still a fairy fire. Get track, he'll die to the rotation from behind. Made out on the fly, getting a little bit low, trying to deal with the tombstone. Arteezy comes through to look to finish it off. He'll leave it to crit before he blinks away. Dick charges, are they enough? Kid Track is definitely gonna die here. Yuragi fighting against three heroes that are all low, but unfortunately cannot get the kill on any of them. BCM is actually very low. Well, damn, doesn't have his level six. Grabs Abed, tries to keep him away. Has a remnant to be able to throw it out. Abed commits his own remnant, gets the kill before he dies to the tower. We're gonna have some catch tools. We're gonna have to see how much he can make up after this lane phase, and maybe that comes down to Abed snowballing. Can get him going? Good right. sign for Shopify. And that's Ooh, another kill for him to snowball off of. BCM get the other support kill, so one for one supports. <laughs> Sources to play with. Oh, Yuragi burned out of mana. He should be dead here. Add his uh, Lotus Flowers to be consuming in one second off from another one. Not quite there in time. Kid Track is going to try and get the revenge kill. Blink away just in time. The Ready to fight, Kitrak doesn't have much mana, so it's oh, like, oh, he managed to get off the, mid the uh, shield just in time, pulling the storm spirit instead. Arteezy's fine, but Fly will not be. Back in real time, where Ahmed, he's gonna match the storm spirit on these rotations. Taiga should be wiped out by that last astral step. Fifth rate fan, you're, you've given up. <laughs> Kitrak gonna be thrown back here. Ahmed will. Uh, Finish. You were uh, gonna be the target. Pulled back off it. Can't really do much to help him out. Nice help. He needs brief stun. That's gonna help out a lot with the oh, oh, stolen lightning. Storm. Storm is dead. The tombstone easily dealt with, and Kitrak gonna be pulled back in by Abed. Crit surviving through all of that. Actually, oh, hold up. It spoke too soon. All right, Crit. Oh, global silence. The first one of the game gonna be used to put Storm Spirit down. And uh, plus no, two again. No possible save. It's like you're picking slaughter to kill AM, right? Yeah. And having him scaling in that department probably gives you the highest chance of comfort of thinking about <laughs> Maybe he's trying out for OG. Ragi trying to get in front of him. Nice steal of the stone gaze, though. That bonus movement speed keeps crit ahead of. The Yuragi Medusa and gets away. And meanwhile, that reach all right here. Kitrak is going to be stunned up. You low behind. With the you low behind to get on top of Saberlight. They got stolen. They got stolen. stolen. Stone Gates is just killing them right now. They are still going to be able to catch Saberlight, it looks like. I got he's taking a lot of damage, but he relocates back. That corrosive haze stolen by crit was doing a lot of work there. He's against oh, good spells. And he goes back and oh, global silence with the AM. That has got to be a freebie. These globals have been destroying BCM. Yeah, sucks. They take away the vision. BCM. Oh, he got silenced. Troubles, gonna be able to pull him back in. Taiga going for the heals as much as possible. BZM living for now. The vessel's ticking on him, but he made a long sip. The curse. He's good. Oh, he's got nine wand, wand charges. He's fine. He's fine. Taiga, not so much, though. Goodbye, Taiga.
Another plus two. And I'll oh, MC! I'm over here! Finally gets the bash and will get the chain stun necessary to get this kill. You are outside the pit. Fuse is incredibly strong right now. It's just what can you do with it? Looking for the double damage global. kill, but global. He committed deep for this one. Primal Roar. Now the disabled oh, running out. He committed in deeper for that. Oh, what? Aggressively here. Oh, the silence naps him just before the big crush hit. Either way, that was still the five mana saber lights and the rest of those boys. Yuragi's gonna show up though. He's still lived. And they want to be able to fight away from this guy as much as possible. Pulling back saber light, getting a lot of heals out. Flying. He should be finished off. Saber light. Let's see if he can limp out or BZM. He'll slow him down enough for a double kill. But Arteezy's here. Goes for the mana boy. Does manage to get the kill eventually here. Commits on to the next one. Ultra kill. It's just Yuragi. God, they like. cannot touch this Medusa, but they can just rip. tosses back Taiga into the arms of Arteezy now as Kitrak getting low as well. But Groza Bay's onto Arteezy. He needs to get out. Well, he's holding his ground for now, seeing if there's an opportunity. See if he can help Crit. Crit is certainly going to be dying, though. This combo of Smart Artusa is pretty dangerous. The fish duo. Medusa has hand on her right now. Got the crush on Arteezy as they finish him off. BCM locked it down. Now there is very little mana on your arm. But without the AM, I think Howdy. Shopify are done. Does Abed want to try and go back in? Not with the corrosive haze on him, I think. It's just too much. Bird for Artor We're going to try and disarm. He's on Taiga. They're going to go for him while simultaneously stopping the Slardar. Trying to catch him. Taiga does get a little bit of distance. They went for Mana Boy. Didn't do the damage. And now the Stone Gaze. It's causing Shopify to have to retreat with the corrosive haze being so much damage being done. Shopify have to get the right initiation. Otherwise, the corrosive haze starts getting put on more and more heroes. And the Deusa just goes to Long work. To pull him in. Got one hit off. Is it enough? It is enough to get the hand. But they're going to run him down. And you're right outside Shopify's base. Oh, dear. With a low H. That stone gaze is fast, but it's not fast enough. No, not fast. Oh, he got the back. Why did he turn? The scythe. Why did he turn? Why did you turn, son? Why? Why did he turn? Did he not know about the scythe? Maybe he didn't know about the scythe. He Rick. knew about the scythe. And end this game. Five seconds. Only Ahmed knew it was flying out. Scythe of Ice. Used on the Beastmaster. Silenced up. Coming in. They're going to zip on out. See if they can get this silencer. Get him done. Nice and quick. No. Gets a four staff away. Gets the global silence off at the Divine. same time. Divine delivered. You gotta be careful of your billions here. Mana oh, Boy, the Mana Boy, did a lot. DTM is gonna be burned out of his mana here. Doesn't have a retether for the cheese. He's three seconds. Oh, it's gonna go for it. He kills him. He doesn't have buyback on the side of Taiga. He is slowing them down. Shopify. They're picking him apart one by one. They're fighting away from Yuragi as best as possible. BZM, a sliver of HP. He had enough mana to be able to TP out. He's actually getting away. Meanwhile, the two supports are kiting around MC, who goes for a TP out of his own. Barely makes it. Now the spot, you can get it. If you get this divine out of your Augie's hands, he is out in one second. Who do you go for? Who do you want to jump? Trying to deal with the tombstone. Yuragi hitting the tier fours. Got the scythe once again. This time they've got the chain combo. They're going to be able to catch it. Five. One five back down. Nine lives left. Yuragi is your pace. And a tier four dead. Base is exposed. Our target is committed. He goes in deep. Man to use BKB immediately by the Medusa. They've got the control on him, but the spell shield doing a lot, but not enough. Two, three, seven lives left on the side of Shopify. And the throne completely exposed. Abed back in with his second life. Trying to get it immediately controlled up. That's not a point. They got good enough. Arteezy in with his second life. Trying to go in, but just not enough. He's being controlled up. Dies a second time. They cannot finish this off. And OG will take the final blow to Shopify. And they will not go out of this group stage. They are going to be able to go 1-1 once again. They won't lose the series yet.